Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video on my YouTube channel. I'm Nicholas and I'm very excited because today we have a 3-in-1 special 17 Zolo slash unit reaction video. Okay, it's a little bit complicated but it makes sense. We're going to be checking on Runvu X Ming Jiu. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Um, song Bittersweet featuring Lee Hai, who I think I've checked out before already. Then the actually quite recent Tiger by Hoshi, his studio joint performance of it to be exact, alongside the just released newest song Limbo by June. And Yanami, we've already checked out a bit of 17 in the past, but not that much yet. So I'm not really familiar with all the members um, individually. Um, I do have already checked out the Boozy's uh, single from last year, Ruby, uh, not from earlier this year, actually. God damn, the time flies isn't it and um, alongside Hoshi spider as example right right and now we're going to be checking out these three uh, Zolo slash unit releases into one video I've specifically selected those because I actually have a video to you know because um, other 70 members already released other Zolos but with only audio you know not really something else to watch alongside with it I do know that there is I think D8 who actually released something actually reason too but I think if I remember seeing correctly has released like five six seven music videos already so that's actually something we can do individually right where we then we're catching up on the eight basically and check out his four music videos together you know i think i will you know put that on the side for now and leave it at these three here and then do those individually together okay i think that makes the most sense but yeah these are now the three songs slash music videos we're going to be checking out the first one being like mentioned runu x minji use bittersweet featuring lehigh again not too familiar with each member individually so yeah excited to see these two get some duo spotlight basically let's check it out let's kick things off with bittersweet Big fan of 17 Sound Direction General, so let's see how this goes. Mm -hmm. Love the way his voice harmonized with the simple instrumental, very flavorful. Sadly, hi. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with her either. Ooh, his voice has a nice raspiness to it. Ooh. Okay. Given that we don't see her, I don't think it was her, but. This is such a lean back, you know? Ooh, I like the, the aesthetics of the V2 actually. Works really well together. Mm. The voice really shines here. I think it was released actually last year or something, okay? Actually, been a while since it was, you know? Ooh, and then the way her voice enters here. Oh, I want to hear them together though. All three voices are so fitting for the sound. Pretty smile. Ooh, but yeah, the voices really work well in this sound picture. Ooh. Oh, now we get some rain sounds. Always a fan of that. Ooh, please tell me the rain is in the actual audio. Please tell me this is on Spotify in general. This is such a, you know, end of summer anthem in some way, you know? Oh, the rain sounds so... Please tell me this is on Spotify. I'm begging you. I'm begging. Oh, I would like known to be best buddies within 17. Again, so many members, it's... You know, I'm not, not the person that really goes into the variety content, so I really... 
aren't they familiar with all of them? But hey, that was so good! Please tell me this is on Spotify. Oh, this would be an instant playlist. Oh, thank you, it's on Spotify. Let's go. Okay. Oh, wow, there's actually even a solo version without Lehigh. I honestly think that was a really great match here, okay? Wait, it even says very sweet featuring Lehigh in the title, but she just isn't listed in there, okay? That's actually a bit weird. But okay, hey. That was a great feature, okay? She, she really... Her, 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 her vocal really added a lot, and I think they really worked well together back-to-back. -to -back. But yeah. Bunvu is... Mingju, Mingju... It's too many names. Too many names every single day, okay? But yeah, there was such a... There was such a nice vibe, okay? It was really such a type of, you know, song you... I know that makes you want to go just on a, on a little vacation. It makes you want to go, you know, just... Take your car and just drive, you know, aimlessly, just, you know, through the through the sun-kissed streets and just, you know, have a wonderful time, you know, just just lean back and vibe like that, okay? That's the vibes I'm getting from the song. Then, like mentioned, with the additional rain noises here now at the end, put in as well, something really great. Generally, the voice is just sort of, you know, mixing was really clean and the way the simple instrument really leaves them room to really let the voice shine that way. That was really, really nice, okay? That was such a comfortable listening experience. I often talk about, you know, some songs are there to be loud and noisy and hype and epic and whatnot, but then we have songs like Very Sweet that are there to, you know, just make you hum along, just sing along a little bit, but out of the day, just, you know, lean back and just, you know, let the, let, the, let the music do the magic and just, you know, just feel better out there. And I think that's definitely this type of song, okay? Music video, like mentioned, also had some really, really um nice aesthetics too, okay? It was such a comfortable watch, both for the eye and a comfortable listen for, for the for the ears as well, okay? That was really, really nice. When we mean to use Bittersweet, that's an instant playlist edition. That was really, really nice. And like mentioned, I hear this, this ending scene with both of them together. Ah. That was, that was such a feel-good release, you know? That's, that's such a feel-good song and music video. That was really nice. I enjoyed that a lot, okay? And I think we're now going to be switching the vibes, though. Because we're moving over to Hoshi with Tiger. And it's actually insane, because like I mentioned, this actually does not have an actual music video. It was only really released as an audio. And I think actually even not in this actual Spotify. I think I actually checked it already. Like, I, you know, Spider Like Mitch was a cool song, but when I go onto his, you know, then I only see Spider there. Are you really telling me they did not release that on Spotify? Man, that's so sad. That's so sad. Like, before it already, because if this is not going to be great, you know, like, if I really enjoyed this throughout, then I will already be like, damn, I won't be able to, you know, listen to it peacefully while I'm away at work or whatever. But yeah, let's check that out. You know, Hashi, obviously, one of the coolest dancers I've seen thus far from the little bit I've seen from him. You know, there's still so much more I have to explore from him. Um, excited for that, okay? Let's check out his Be Original for his original song, Tiger. And I think, like mentioned also, that his... Um, isn't, isn't his um, Don't Cape of groups often do this, you know, like individual members get individual representative things or whatever. And isn't he a Tiger there as well? I think he really is going all in on that Tiger image. So let's check it out. Hashi, Tiger. Doesn't have a feature though? Maybe, maybe not. Um. Mm. Oh, we're going a bit traditional Korean. The look definitely goes into that. Ooh, the movement is so smooth. I'm a tiger. Oh! I go hard. God, cheater. The honor of the quiet is back. Dang it, that flavor. Ooh, the athletes are cool. Oh, I love this. Oh, traditional influence so much. Ooh. Oh, do you do that lift? Oh. Love the way he uses the voice here. The pronunciation is really cool. Oh. Obviously, dance chorus. Mm. Ooh, the facial expressions too. He's such a great performer. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's a feature, yeah. Or is it him? <laughs> yes, I'm your father, the way the Wasilura was fun. 
She said it. I should get down right now. I'm sorry, but went hard either way. Again, though, I'm so fixated on him here because you know. Oh, this awesome drop is so fun. Ooh, the, the smugness of his movement there, though. Well, nice build up. Oh! The outlifts, though. background vocal too oh that's so cool oh that's so cool oh that's actually so cool oh that, that was so entertaining man like again Hoshi's such a captivating performer I was so fixated onto him you know but there was so much going on with the backup dancers actually as well you know such a great you know full visual performance here they really tried to make you know, to use the entire screen basically, not just say, you know, don't just look at him, look at everybody else too, because there may be a cool, you know, move coming up. But hey, that thing reeks of style, okay? This thing just like mentioned reeks of so much identity in some way, you know? He like takes this very, very, um, what well, means typical, but you know, a very, um, well known, um, you know, direction of styling and sound, you know, with the Korean uh, traditional elements. But does he own it here? Okay, does it sound cool and does he make it his own thing again? Okay, like Menchi fully embraces this this tiger aesthetic and just this entire tiger um image that he like mentioned I think has from his um given representative image, whatever within seventeen. And again, this just both delivered not just sonically, but especially, you know, I feel like this this is definitely the type of song that just goes much harder with a performance video, okay? I think this is the type of song that you definitely want to watch as a performance rather than just as an audio, even though the audio alone is still really cool, okay? Like, imagine the way the chorus drops, the way we do this short pause there, and then do this, ah, boom, you know, and then drop and whatnot. That's really cool. Like, mention, I think it's a feature in the middle. Or was it really him? I'm like, Mitch, not sure. Gladly clear me up. But like, Mitch, it sounded really cool either way. But this, I am your father, was really damn funny. But yeah, the the, the ad lips, the, the swag and the delivery in general, the, the dancing, obviously, in the choreo, his facial expressions, the drop. This, this starting movement here, you know, with this extremely smooth, you know, ground movement and whatnot, just making him look like he's floating, basically, it was really, really dope as well. This is such a cool performance, okay? Hashi is such a captivating performer. Like, Spider already showed me that, you know, we had such a really cool and unique choreo within that music video. And this Tiger Studio Chomp performance, be original, also showed just that, okay? Heat! Heat, Hashi! That was heat, okay? Dope stuff. Hoshi's Tiger B original Studio Charm performance video. Really entertaining, both the song, but especially the video with it. Such a great dancer, such a great performer. That was really that enjoyable. We're now moving over to our already final video for us to check out today. The just recently released Limbo by June, who I guess is a vocalist within the group. Again, like mentioned, I've we've already checked out the killing voice and everything like that, but again, I'm just not really into, you know, um, I, I don't really do lots of variety content, so that's basically my thing with Kevin in general, okay, variety content is something I very rarely check out, I'm really majority here for the music to 99%, so, you know, um, with so many other artists I'm listening to, it's, it's hard for me to really, you know, um, understand or, like, get every member um, and who's who and whatnot, but we will find out, okay, we will find out what he is, if he's a rapper or a vocalist, um, you know, so let's check it out. Dude, Limbo, official music video. I'll see the teaser. <laughs> I've been looking for the love. I wanna hear your voice. Know what I mean? Ooh, very stylistic. Ooh, Ooh very sultry. The delivery instantly reminds me of Temin, though. I feel like if you would have given me this without. 
Ooh. Ooh, I like the slow progression there in the EDM. Wait, up immediately attached to him. Ooh, I like this. Kinda gives me vampire flavor of the outfit. Ooh, that's selling too. Ooh. It looks, it looks dope. Okay, flex those abs, bro. Ooh, but this very sultry, whispery delivery here, really cool. Ooh, the smoke that was dope. Flex those apps. Ooh. That part with the, I want more with those lasers. That looked really cool. Hey, about the styling on this is really cool. Seriously, he looks great. The Steve Distortion voice is really cool. That's a cool aesthetic. But give me one with the lasers. That was such a cool aesthetic. The, the, the mixing on his voice is really interesting here. It's really unusual, but it works with the way- Oh! Okay, that's freaky for the eyes. Oh, my, oh god, that's too much problem for me, maybe. You. I don't even want to imagine dancing in that. Damn, those close-ups too. Again, styling-wise, this is... Oh, not a look! They went out with styling on this, okay? Styling team, give a race. Ooh, now the chorus really hits though. When you did the first, when you did the first time. The way we like mentioned, have this very slow progressing, pretty EDM in the background. Ooh, now the way. Ooh, that's so cool. The way the fire progressive there. Ooh, this is such a full package though. Damn. Okay, that was that was excellent. That was such an entertaining watch. I, I don't think he is in the hip hop stage rap group, but I literally couldn't tell you whatever he's in a vocalist or the performer group, okay? Like both vocally and performance-wise, this was really, really excellent, okay? First of all, I mentioned really got to say, they really gave this budget, okay? They really gave this budget. They really wanted to make this music video a special one. They really wanted to make this look cool and be memorable. And I think they definitely succeeded with that. That's the first thing I really want to point out. The styling throughout this, okay? All these different outfits, the aesthetics, the slow-mo shots, the way we generally shot these locations, the way we, like mentioned, switch from very dark here to very wide and empty to, you know, then the... Very classy looking look here with the, you know, with the, they just look very royal. Then here this very freaky look, okay, which, you know, my eyes don't need that too long. Um, and then this really cool set piece at the end with the, you know, when the, the way the fire then opens up here, like comes together uh, into the middle. Really, really cool, okay. Music video really needs a big, big um, prop straight away. Both he and the general styling and just general presentation were really top notch. Now to the song itself. I like mentioned at the beginning, if you would have given me this without audio, okay, like if you would have given me this without visual, only the audio, I would have said, wow, that's a cool Tamin song at first, okay? He sounded really, really similar to Tamin there at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. This just really gives me Tamin vibes, but like, you know. Totally works for him, and I think throughout the song it, it goes a bit away from it, you know, it still feels like its own thing, but definitely remembered me at the beginning, just like, wasn't there another member who I kept saying it reminds me a bit of Bacon from from the voice tone, okay? They're, 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 you know, there's just there's just so many voice tones out there, you know, so it, it's, a, it's not a bad thing that some may uh, remember me of others, you know, that's only a good thing because Tamad is an incredible vocalist, and I think June vocally really delivered here as well, because like mentioned, 
the sultriness and some of the bits, then, you know, the bit more powerful ones, you know, it's a great contrast between each other within the same song, you know, it really delivered in several ways, both with the whispery tones and with the more strong ones, I think that was really, really cool to see. The song itself, like mentioned, has a more smoother, slower approach in the beginning and generally within the verses, but then really gets powerful and explosive when the chorus comes around, and there, like mentioned, I really enjoy how we have the actually more faster tempo from him where they have this very strong gritty bass in the background is behind him basically like he's doing that and the bass is like you know doing bigger jumps if you know what i mean i think it really really worked you know what i mean then this part here in the second part of the chorus where we go back to the soldier this while throwing in the more powerful vocals straight after, it's a great combination. I think, the, I'm not sure if we got credits on this, writing wise, but I think this chorus is really well written, especially after you heard it the first time, it really kicks. This is a fan, seriously, this is a fantastic solo release, okay? This is, this is actually excellent. I think this is both as a song and especially with the music video on top, an absolute excellent release and a memorable one on top of that, okay? I think one of the biggest things, or like, one thing that I think everybody that does a solo release wants to achieve is to stand out that way and, you know, be memorable. Because, you know, like, especially in a huge group like 17, you know, with 13 members, I think it's important that when you then decide to, or like, when you do get a solo opportunity, you really want to shine, you really want to take that opportunity to showcase A, you know? Like, it's obviously not a competition between the members, but it's still, you know, for, for the viewers to really stand out. For them to be like, wow, June of 17, wow, you know? Not just maybe then to get into the group itself, but to be like, wow, that's maybe my bias, okay? And this is really, this is a great release all the way through, okay? Both the song, both the music video, the styling, the locations, the idea, the execution, the delivery, the chorus itself, like mentioned, really well written, okay, whoever did that, whatever it was him or someone else, big credit on that, the chorus is really, really great. This is excellent, okay, this is a fantastic Zoro release right here, okay, Dune Limbo. This is a really cool song, like mentioned, reminded me a bit of Tamin in the beginning, became more of his own thing, midway through in combination with the music video, wait for such an... Incredibly entertaining experience, okay? That was stunning, okay? Gen of 17, Limbo. That's one way it goes solo, or what means go solo, you know, but to make a solo release that really, really stands out, okay? That was excellent, and I think a fantastic wrap up and highlight slash finale to our little special 17 mashup reaction video. If you enjoyed my reaction, leave a like down below to show me that you did. What are your thoughts on the free songs we've checked out today? Leave me all your thoughts about it down below in the comments as well. And as always, if you enjoyed the viewing, if you want to support me, then gladly leave us up as well. Also, put my Patreon, it would help me a lot. We see each other again with more 17 as we check out more Dota music videos and albums and whatnot, or whenever they come back. And we have a lot of other great cable content coming up. So, whatever content you may be interested in, whatever content you may want to in for, obviously again soon on this channel. Stay safe, have been happy, have a great time, have a great remaining weekend, start into your new weekend, and see you again soon with more 17 and other gaming reactions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.